Alright, what's up guys? So, Cops and Criminals TV has uploaded a video titled Police Had to Step In When Creep Won't Leave Girl Alone Police Body Cam Yeah, I, um, you know, just recently uh, A friend of mine, you know, she was dealing with uh, That guy though, he, he was more so I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this word But let's just say he He was a little... I guess physical, you know, when it came to uh, stuff, well, m like mental and physical, you know, when it came to certain things. And uh, yeah, I, I think that, you know, in this day and age, police got to, you know, take these types of claims seriously. I think that women, they need to go out and start, you know, getting training of some sorts, whether it's fighting or you're going to a range. I'm not going to say what kind of range it is, but let's just call it a range. Yeah, I just think that, uh, you know, there's women out there that just, they need to, you know, like, I just prepare themselves. You know, that's something where, uh, like, the, the next relationship I get into, if it don't work out, that's definitely something that I'm going to tell her. I'm like, hey, look, get some fighting stuff, uh, to go to a range, okay, and practice, because I don't know who you're going to get into next. Um, get with next might be a situation where I'm not there to defend you and uh, yeah you know I would I would rather for you to be like trained in that like line of you know stuff rather than you know just you being in a situation where you in the hospital fighting for your life or somewhere you know crying about this guy so no it's like I just think that stuff like this needs to be more serious and you know it's uh it's good that these uh police officers they stepped in so but anyways uh let's go ahead and get into this video guys if you haven't make sure you go subscribe to crops and cops and criminals uh tv for more videos like this on february 11 2024 at a local bar in port orange florida law enforcement oh, he's was a, summoned oh, to address a, a disturbance caused regardless by an inebriated though. group the individuals under the influence of alcohol, created a disruptive scene, prompting concerns for public safety. The police intervention aimed to restore order. It's like, dang, sure bro, you can't be grabbing on no woman uh, like that. Okay. Who are you? Uh, who are the two individuals? Uh, this one right here. Um, the other one, I think, what? Oh, no, right. So these two won't leave? Huh? It's like he got her like cornered. It's like, bruh. I just want them gone. Like, and I want them to get home safely. I've tried. I've, I've offered That's them. That's why it's like, ladies, I offer them to get home safely. That's like, ladies. I don't know if this move will work or not, but I'm saying, though, like, act like, act like you kind of like, you just kind of like, you doing some, like, you on like, you're stretching your arm out of some sort, you know, kind of like just do this, but try to like get it into a position where you could get behind the guy's like head. Try to step to the side and just ram it into whatever it is. Like, like break, break bro's face, okay? Have it where that man, yeah, he's blinded, nose is broke, face is hurting. As soon as you get an opening, I'm saying, like, and that's another thing. Ladies, start getting you some running shoes. Um, Air Jordan 11s are good uh, shoes where you can just, any, any, like, basketball uh, running shoe, like, there's a gang of shoes you could go from, but, yeah, go with, like, something athletic-wise, like, basketball shoes, just something that's a little cushioning, so your feet ain't hurting, but I feel like in a situation where it's, like, life or death, yeah, you know, you, it ain't even gonna matter, all right, Kunta Kente was out here running around on, um, half of a foot, I'm saying, you can run Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 11s, Adidas Top 10, freaking, uh, what else, some Vapor Maxes, um uh yeah a gang of shoes all right i'll do a whole video if i need to telling you guys what shoes you need to get for running so in situations where it's like you know you need to run so before i can't get any information this one got hostile he tried to fight my bartender inside <laughs> cussing at me like wow. do you have id on you miss i do but i don't have any glasses you don't have what i don't have my glasses <laughs> can't speak anything where do you live Responsible. Where do you live? Okay. Just had to make sure Uber. I was in the shot. How'd you get here? Uber. You're gonna have to get out of here. They, they want you gone for the night. Well, I know, but I need. I can't just walk home without wrestling. So, do you have a phone? No, oh. I don't have my. I Not can't wrestling. see anything. <laughs> It's like, okay, Beth Phoenix, it's like, you wrestle somewhere else, go wrestle home. Upon police arrival at the Port Orange Bar, they encountered a distressing situation involving an unruly female patron. Lacking control, 
she disrupted the peace for others, causing concern and chaos in the establishment. The officers had the challenging task of restoring order and managing the disruptive behavior to ensure the safety of everyone. That's the door. I who I am. I am 240 My name's Donald Stevens. Oh, he is. Sir, I can't even understand what you're saying. That's, I know. That's, that's not long enough to be the a driver. The police are about to report. Like they brought like a walking dead zombie back to life. It's like, bro, English, okay? Not alcoholness, English. Pennsylvania. You're reporting. You're from Pennsylvania? They're reporting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, I, They're taking lots of notes. No, listen. There was that's somebody that drinks way too much. But he should not know. He needs to go to one of them like classes. You're putting your notes? No, what I'm going to tell you, you is that. You can put me on shit. Let me explain something. She drunk too. The business manager does not want you guys here. Yeah, I understand. So have, you called, have you called an Uber yet? Uh, no. Has the, has the manager asked me to, to leave? Yes, has the, stop, yes stop, they stop, have. Stop coming really? so close. Well, stop the, coming so close the manager has not asked me to leave. She has. This guy. That's why we're here. Has she? So now, she well, listen. That's great. Okay, so thank know. you for letting hey. me know. Well, listen. Oh, so God, thank you for stop letting me know. No, no, no. no. You with your I, 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 I'm going to. Look, I'm not stop you you. No, no, no. Uh, Seth, right, Seth, wait, wait, stop approaching. Stop Seth, approaching. Seth, stop approaching right. me. They both need to get arrested. First. I don't know who's Are wrong or who's right in this, but they everybody needs to get arrested. Yes. Like y'all, way too drunk. Okay, so I don't trust y'all with an Uber. Authority. I no, my thing is, is this: if I'm like, if I'm a cop, I, I, I don't know. Like, I know it's something. I'm more, more so like, just yeah, give them the oldest Andy Griffin situation where it's like, no, let's just put you in jail for the night because I don't want you to be dealing with no Uber. You done thought that Uber driver then said something disrespectful? They just doing their job. Now you feel like you need to throw up or do something crazy in the back of their car. I wouldn't want no Uber driver to deal with no stuff like that. So I think it would be best, like, yeah, just put them in jail for the night, let them sleep it out, and then, yeah, you know, have it where it's, like, next morning, hangover, all that stuff. I'm like, nah, you're going to have to go home and figure that out. But, um, yeah, they they just, they way too drunk, too drunk to be dealing with the general public. Piece of bullshit. Okay. Yes. And okay. that guy's just like, it like okay. sniffing her hair. I'm like, bro, you look old enough to be her dad. Get away from her. Grabbing her shoulders and stuff. That's no. I know. I know. Guys have nothing. Hey, sorry, I appreciate it. It's cool. It's cool. All we want, all we want is to make sure you get home safe. Yeah, that's it. Turn my phone back. Do it. The situation escalated when officers faced a highly intoxicated suspect at the Port Orange Bar disturbance. This individual in a state of extreme inebriation, posed a unique challenge, testing the officer's patience and skills. Handling such a volatile situation required a delicate balance of firmness and restraint. Oh, sir. Oh, I got, I got a black phone, right? Don't act tough with me, figure it out. No. Sir. That was the phone that was in his hand when we we're got acting, here. We're acting, we're acting very acknowledging. I don't know. So figure it out. I know, I know. You can't figure it out. I know. It's, it's yeah, really... people like that, they be getting drunk like that. No, you, it, whether it's friend, family, or a complete stranger, I guess, like, I would take that time to be all like, hey, look, you should not ever in life get this drunk, all right? Yeah, drink socially, drink, you know, special occasions, all that stuff. But it, it should never be a situation where you have too much to drink. Like, people, know your limit, okay? If your limit is one drink, take your one drink, get the edge out your system, go on home. That's it. That's all you got to do. But it's like, you get to a point where you didn't drink so much to where now cops are getting called on you? Yeah, that, no, that's too much. I'm like, you need to go to a class for some uh, stuff like that. Hey, you should not, no. Or if, if not that, you shouldn't just be drinking at all. Point blank, period. Dang. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Get on my feet. Stand, stand up. Hey, hey, hey. Don't Listen. All right. Nope, nope. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I'm Come standing on. up. Nope. Don't touch me. Nope. Come on. Nope. Nope. What? Sit down. 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 Let's take my phone. Cool. Yeah, man. Oh, watch out, seat. You know what? I'm gonna have a seat. Take a seat. I'm gonna make you take a seat. All right, please don't pull. All right, we'll take a seat then. All right, I will. All right, good. Ready? One, two, three. All right, don't push me. Let me sit. One, two, three. Sit. There you go. Good job, buddy. I'm just trying to help her out. The stairs. Sit down. All right. That is crazy. Sit down. It's like, man, do you not realize you're dealing with cops? These ain't like stripper cops from the 90s. These, these are like actual sworn in, like, they clocked in to do this.
I didn't do anything wrong. I told you I had to get out of here. Did I? Well, for, for what? Hey, what color is your backpack? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I didn't do anything wrong. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Sit up. Sit up. What are you doing? Stop it's like what she's are you either, doing? The thing is, is this. Like, I imagine she's of age to drink, but I still feel like she she shouldn't drink. It's either she drinks too much or, yeah, she's just too young to, you know, take in alcohol, whether it's a tiny little drop or a full-blown bottle. But it's like, I yeah, my thing is, is like, I, you know, I... I if if there's ever a day where I decide to um come out with a bar, I'm gonna call it three strikes. All right, people go about like, oh, why you call it three strikes? I'm like, I'm giving you three drinks of your choosing. Drink whatever. It ain't gonna be big old giant glasses. It's gonna be a decent sized glass. I'll make sure of it. I'm like, yeah, you know, if you drinking for the taste and all that stuff, okay, cool. You get drunk. I'm like, nah, bro. You get three drinks. Those are the strikes. Once you and had your three, you're out. Go home. Go. Yeah. But I'm not like, there, there's no way possible you're like, oh, let me get like 17 shots, three bottles of this. And yeah, no, you ain't doing all that. And I'm like, I give, I'm like, no, the thing is this. I do that. It's all, I'm going to empty out all them alcohol drinks and put water in there. What are you shit, doing? Just keep giving them glasses and shot glasses of water. You. I don't know what's going on. It's like, yeah, you're going to get drunk off of water. I don't know. I just got here. But I know you weren't listening to that officer. I'm not shit. I didn't do anything. Listen, though. Huh? I didn't do anything wrong. Do you want to end up I like that? I didn't do anything. No. You should probably start listening to people. Hey! Oh my I God. didn't do anything! Uh, oh, can you, you go he let her go though? Um, maybe tomorrow. I'll walk her home. I'm not sure you can walk to, out of the parking lot. No! Stand no! One, Get up. Stand up. Two, three, stand up. For That's what? That's crazy. Trespassing. Trespassing for what? Totally With tensions escalating and the night growing increasingly chaotic, the dedicated law enforcement officers face the formidable challenge of restraining the unruly individual at the Port Orange Bar. Hmm. I wasn't told to leave. And yet, and then you resisted, so but no, you're outside. That's and you got people lie. like not that's letting you back lie. in. You guys, what does that overall you know indicate? You guys. Stop. No, I'm not. I'm not. Stop pulling away. Stop What's her name? You guys, you know what? Pam, what's your name? You guys want to be a dick? What's your name? Just You're an out. officer. Can I talk to you for a second? You got a wife? I do. You Who got a. Relax. You guys, Stop. no. Don't get. Don't I didn't do this shit. Don't catch another charge. I didn't okay. do this shit. Just relax. I didn't do this shit. Okay. Are you taking That's this? That's crazy. Get your arms off me right Wait, now. Don't figure it out. Right, right now, get your arms off me. I kind of figured this was going to end up like this. That's why I was sitting up the road there. Funny. This is funny to you. I didn't do nothing. Cool. If you if you if you come back I here, know, if I you, didn't even drink. If you, okay, you didn't drink. Yeah. How about I that? Didn't, All right. I didn't say I didn't are you drink. are you I are you sure you, you sure like you if home? you just talk like that just because I'm like nah man you got you got a brain injury of some sorts I'm like did you hit your head or something like I know you took a crazy fall and I'm like that's a normal thing where it's like every fifth step you just fall for no reason I'm like yeah bro you gotta get you gotta get that checked out go seek a doctor of some sorts yeah. are you sure are you need to go to the hospital sober up you need to go to the hospital I sober up or you good okay well you weren't you were grabbing all over. And you said, no, you, you said you, I was watching you. It's on my camera. And you said you didn't, hey. didn't even know who she was. All right. Are you leaving? Are you, can, you, can, can you care for yourself? Yeah. You can? Yeah. All right. Show, show me you can do that and go, go go touch that mailbox and come back. Right there. Well, you know what? Right there. There's a mailbox right there. Go ahead and touch that mailbox and, and walk back. That thing right yep. there? It's the only mailbox around, man. I was I still, that's not enough. I don't know. Hey. There, was three, there was these two chicks yeah, and then all of a sudden, okay. Hey. And then all of a sudden, he's all That's over not her. enough. I'm right. like, I'm not going to have it. Because I'm like, okay, my thing is this. They look like they live in a, uh, or they're at a big, like, distant area and things. I don't trust this man walking because he seems like the type. If that man failed in the parking lot, just, like, taking two, three steps, I don't trust this man walking from there all the way to wherever his home. Yeah, if his home was, like, maybe on the other side of that bar, like, right on the other side of this camera, like, frame and things, then okay, cool. I'm like, oh, your house is right there. I'll walk you up to your front door. But this man looked like he got walked walk down a dark road. No, I do not trust that. I, I do not trust that at all. Yeah, I haven't heard not, so that they fell down. Or? All right, so where do you live at? Me? Yep. I don't live here. Well, we you said you stay two blocks I away. Live in Pennsylvania. Okay, well, are you, are you walking to Pennsylvania? I'll take care of no. Okay, no. Well, you need to leave the property. How did you get here tonight? I walked. Great, you're going to walk home now. Look, ma'am, just... No, ma'am, what? Hey, somebody What's should going walk to happen? You're under arrest. Ma'am, what? For what? You're going to jail tonight. For what? For trespassing and what? Yeah. I know they ain't job to walk somebody home, no, but I, didn't. I, I wouldn't trust yes, the idea that man walking to his house by himself. 
Yeah. You know what? Try to get your butt on the seat. Get my butt on the seat? Yes. yes. Let's sit on the seat. Just try to sit on it. Come on. We don't want to hurt you. You know what? You guys are a bunch of... Okay, well, you need to listen to us right now. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's there you go. You know what? Wife you huge. Right. No, stop, 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 stop. We're I know, gonna, I know, gonna, I know. We're going to have to put you in a restraint. I know, keep going. I know. It's really yeah, uncomfortable. Just do, I know, I know. It's really uncomfortable. That's so cool. just relax so we don't have to do that to you. Yeah, relax because it's me right now. Faced with a dynamic and unpredictable situation, the officers must employ their training and expertise to effectively subdue the disruptive individual. I should just hear Naomi. Okay. There's probably a bazillion ways to spell Naomi. N-A-O-M-I. So, okay. so because I went to a bar, and some asshole decides that I should be there tonight, that I should go to jail tonight. What? I believe you were given the opportunity to leave, and you, and you chose not to. I was never told to leave. You think that's right? Do I think that what's right? You think that's right? I do. I, I do think that you made you some decisions right. tonight, and those decisions just, have consequences. I just went to the bar, that's it. And it's really not the end of the world. It sucks right now. It sucks really bad. It's not the end of the world. What do you mean? That's a, that's a felony. No, it's not. It's misdemeanors. You it's have a, no felony charges right okay, now. It's a but misdemeanors. But you're, if so you, I should the go moment, to, I promise, the moment you I hit one of us, tonight a Because some douchebag of the bar decided to say that I was... I just want to get a drink, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, you Why got that. You? Mission right, accomplished. I that Respect right. earned. I have... Listen, hold on, baby. But I you... Have. Nah, bruh. You drunk. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not trying to say some shit. I, I know, promise. and you, you, you seem like a very good person. Do I you? think that you're a good person. <laughs> well, you're just an alcoholic. All right, and and I, I will I will tell you this. When, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have court at some point. Well, you're just no, gonna look at no, this. No, listen, please. listen, 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 just listen, like, okay? Like, I'm Lord, not, I'm not Lord, listen, <laughs> Mammy. Like what what is gonna help your case a lot is how you behave from this point on. No, do you get it? Listen, listen. I sound listening. like that. No, it's not like that. What's well, not like that? Despite the challenges posed by the highly intoxicated individual, these officers display exceptional skills in maintaining order, showcasing the crucial role of law enforcement in diffusing volatile situations and upholding public safety. No, we're not leaving. The manager never told us to leave. We're not leaving. No, you need to call an Uber home. You need to leave. The boyfriend was all over her, grabbing her and everything else. The boyfriend so fell backwards. There's no way. They met, they they 100% met at the bar that night. There's no way possible. I refuse to believe. Unless she, because she looked like she can maybe, I don't know. Like she, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. But she don't, she looked like she could probably be around the same age as me. And I'm 27. She looked like she could probably be like maybe a few years older or something. But she she definitely no. There's no way possible she's dating a guy that looked like she he's old enough. I don't know. Then again, you never know. Man can have money. He could be like the new Hugh Hefner or something. I really don't know. But I I don't know people like that. I'm not trying to pass judgment. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you know. Shout out to the 60, 70 year old men that could pull a 30 something year old woman. But at the same time, I I honestly truly believe they met that night. She did. They both did. She hit her head on the motorcycle. Okay. Dang, I didn't see so that. at that point we're like, hey, see when they fell, I didn't know she hit her head. She immediately starts trying to turn and fight with us, me and um, Gallagher. He, he helped him out. Um, it's like, hey, get your hands off me. Get the, I'm like, okay, well, sit down. Just sit down. She's like, I'm not sitting down. Da da da. No, you're gonna sit down. Didn't sit down. So I grabbed her from behind and sat her down. That's when she turned and started to try and fight me. And at that point, we just put her, like, grabbed her, put her hands behind her back and secured her. Yeah. Can you please get these off me? Ma'am, they're not coming off you, but you said, how do you spell your first name? Naomi. N-A-O-M-I? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And what's your last name? I'm German. I'm from... You're from Germany? <laughs> okay. Well, how do you spell your last name? DeVito. Okay. How do you spell that? D-A... D-E-V-I-T-O. V I T O. I have nothing to hide. Okay. I understand. I don't think you do. What's your no, real name? No, I don't think you do. I don't think you get it. Like I'm a good person. I believe that. No, I don't think you I do. I really do believe. Like, it. But <laughs> good people get arrested sometimes too. Yeah, you know this is bullshit. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? I you think. Kids, like, if I'm like I honestly, you know, the thing is, 
is that I, I get, you know, people, they drink, they want to feel good and all that stuff. But I'm like, fam, you got to handle those things without um, alcohol. That's something that I can say, like, for myself is that, yes, I've, I've been through some stuff. Everybody's going to go through some stuff at some point in time of their life. It's going to be some very, very depressing, deep and dark days. But at the same time, it's like you shouldn't alter your mind or take in a bunch of stuff that you shouldn't be taking in. Because I'm like, this this night could have been so much worse. That's the thing that I think about. It. It's like the night could have been so much worse where it's like she could have did more than hit her head. It could have been like a life altering situation where it's like, fam luckily these cops did show up but yeah i just think that you know people you guys gotta stop like looking to alcohol when you like go through some stuff like you got you gotta let that alcohol stuff go it's like it alcohol ain't there to help is there the yeah the people that makes these um alcohol beverages and stuff they all they doing is just pocketing that money and living off of uh their success you on the other hand i'm saying it's like that y'all people develop addictions all these other things they start people they start noticing it's like i'm saying you see them tv shows what was that one show where there was all like um the uh uh called dang man the name i can't even think of the name of that show where they'll call in everybody intervention that's what it was called but anyways um but yeah it's like then you see with them people it's like they people be concerned friends and family they be concerned i'm pretty sure her fi- um, friends and family they'll see this and they'll be sad because they're all like dang man talk to people let people know like you got issues going on but don't put yourself in a situation like this where it's like this is going to be a regular you know so right in this shit and this bullshit Managing such situations demands a delicate balance between maintaining order and preserving the well-being of both the individuals in question and the public. I had LASIK last year. Well, we're gonna walk you out of here. All right. Okay. And then, I can walk. I just can't see. Okay. Well, I want you to walk in traffic, but we just need to get off the property. I mean, we have to leave. All right. Yeah. Don't you have like a backpack or something? Oh, I did. I mean, you had it somewhere. Where are they? Uh, what? Right across the counter, there was a broken pair of glasses. Uh, broken? Yeah. Where, how, close, how close do you live? Do you live nearby? Like, can you get home safely? Do you need to go to the hospital or anything? Oh, look at that. Are those yours? Yeah, they were headed back behind the seat. Is that, oh, wait, oh, 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 oh. Wait. Don't want you to forget that. I mean, does it really matter? Wait a minute. No, no, no. Don't, don't, please. Well, we're going to have to put a rip like, pop on your life. Wait, no, no, no. You, you can put Naomi, whatever you want. Stay in the vehicle. With all due respect. You need to get in the car. Hold on. Nope, I'm not holding on. No. I, you know what? Sit down now. Sit down what? Sit For what? in the vehicle. So I can sit in the vehicle and what? Okay. You want to do what? And get my wrap? Um, sit down. Right? And get my wrap? Right? Right? That's what it is, That's right? That's some crazy stuff. Hey, 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 Give hey. me your legs. First of all. Get your, Ma- Ma- get your you hands off me right phone. now. Right now. If you can hey, real close, right. get a phone hey. on me. Relax. Stop. My hands. Stop. Get your hands off me right now. Uh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You stop. It's like, wait. No. Stop. Yes. Can you stop? Yes. Really? Yes. I got three mans on Oh, they're fighting. It's, it's like, man, I don't think, I don't think people realize that. When you're drunk, you lose, like, any, I guess, like, moving skills. Like, you can't fight with cops. Like, I feel like you she wouldn't be able to fight with cops sober. It's like, what makes you think your body is in this sluggish state? What makes you think you're going to be able to handle a bunch of cops while drunk? Like, come on Because now. I'm not stopping. Because I said stop, right? Because I mean, you're, you're, you're God forbid... The lady wouldn't listen and just kept yelling at the officer, making things tough for herself and disturbing the peace in society. This behavior added complexity for the officers trying to handle the situation. Let's talk about it. Hey, she's still fighting with them. Perfect. Need help? Perfect. Nope. You got this on record? Is she tight? Everyone's got a Oh, it's tight. You got this? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Nice on record. Cool, perfect. Thank you. What's your name? Brian. Brian. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. What's your name, officer? What's that? Sergeant what, Clark? Don't f-ing touch my legs. Don't f-ing touch me. It's like, man, did you just forget no, that he touch. has to like put it like a oh, strap put my legs thing? In the car, right? Let's put it on real nice and tight, right? Let's not don't f-ing touch my face. Get your hands off my face. Oh, I 
got to stop, right? Yeah, this one's tight. Oh, it's tight, isn't it? It's tight, isn't it? Use your hands off my face. Get your like hands this. off my face. You need to stop resisting. Get your hands off my face. Yeah? Oh, you're going to put my hands on my face too? Oh, this is We're cool. trying to keep you from hurting yourself. Hurting my face. Stop. Go. Stop. Stop it! Put the, come on. Stop. Close it. There All right, straight go. to the door. <laughs> my day. You guys good? Yeah. Put my finger somehow. Do you need a rescue? <laughs> yes. I have band-aids. <laughs> if you want an alcohol wipe, let me know. So what, 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 what happened? The like officer, call, oh. compelled to take action, arrested the disruptive female, placing her in the police vehicle. Subsequently, she was transported to the police station, where she faced multiple charges for her actions, including disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. Hmm. The legal consequences underscore the serious implications of her behavior. The arrest aimed not only to restore immediate order, but also to address the legal ramifications of her disruptive conduct and aggression toward law enforcement officers. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Yeah, I'm like, that's uh, that's some crazy stuff, man. Yeah, people, leave that alcohol alone. I'm like, you'll, you'll survive without alcohol. Drink water. This summer, drink water, drink protein shakes, drink juices, drink, um, I'm trying to think of some other healthier drinks and stuff. Yeah, you know, tea. I'm trying to think, yeah, you know, just drink, drink normal stuff, milk, I'm saying, I know people don't really like milk like that, but give it a try, bruh, I'm saying, it's just, it's, it's a lot healthier, okay, than drinking alcohol, so, but, anyways, make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Cops and Criminals TV for more videos like this, like, subscribe to me too, I'll talk to you guys later, thank you guys for watching, and peace.